everybody, I'm the Crimson Cypher. Welcome to more Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold in the last episode. We took on the Violet City Gym, uh, obtained an egg, and explored some of the ruins of Alf. Now, we're not quite done with the ruins of Alf. I'm going to grab this apple real quick. Um, there is something that, that I did not go over, but I will go over at a, a, a certain point later on. I also should have mentioned that the way to get Natu and Smeagol uh, is locked behind certain, well, a certain point, and we weren't really able to get them just yet. I didn't realize that, and you know that's that's my my bad, but you know I'll I'll take the uh, L on that one. Anyways, what we're going to do now is we're gonna head down this way, and we're gonna make our way to Azalea Town, which is where we were told to. Uh, to go, essentially. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. Increases the power of grass type moves, which we do not have a grass type. This is the most useless held item to us right now. Okay. Yeah, the Miracle Seed that raises the power of uh, a... Uh, grass type move or grass type moves should I say anyways down this route uh, we wouldn't have been able to get past that guy uh, unless we took out the um, the Violet City gym uh, he would have sent us back if we didn't take uh, take uh, the gym it's the same as the one in Pewter City which if we didn't defeat Brock we wouldn't be able to go past uh, I oh boy I probably should have bought repels if I'm being honest, I should have brought them. But it's fine. It is fine. We can... We will make our way through the, the fields. we got our first trader here. Just haven't seen you around here before. So, you think you're pretty tough? I mean, I beat the gym. The first gym in the game. So, yeah, I think I am. Rattata. I'm uh, gonna go for Supersonic. Okay, nice. Thankfully, also, in the last game that, well, in Fire Red, should I say, obviously there was the thing for us to, you know, we were basically asked to, like, catch a bunch of Pokemon in order to obtain certain items. Uh, and there's nothing like that in this game as far as I'm aware, so... Unless someone can help me with that, you know? But, um... Yeah, there's nothing like that, so we don't need to catch, like, a multitude of Pokémon, essentially. It's not that confusion, okay. Uh, Supersonic? Nope. That's fine. Keep... Try it. Keep it. Keep it going, yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. I don't know why I'm speaking in. I don't know why I'm, I'm saying multiple things here, but I don't know. Alright, one leech life should do it. Hopefully. So, there we go. 72 experience points. Zubat. I want to switch to Murray for this one. Because why not? Zubat, okay. Go for the Thunder Shock. That should be a one shot, I hope. And it is. Cool. to level 11, that's good. Hey, youngster Albert. Keep going down this way, I'm... How many potions do I have? Uh, I have a few. I'm gonna use one on Zubat real quick, because why not? Uh, what's around this way? There is an item, I knew there was. And it's a repel. Thank God. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to head back to Violet City, and I'm going to put Onyx back in the box. So I'll meet you guys in back here in a minute. I'm back. 
uh, off screen while I was going back, I uh, had Zubat grow to level 10 uh, during a wild encounter, so that was something. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's go down here. I believe this uh, person, if you talk to them, uh, they're the only trainer that doesn't spot you. You have to talk to them in order to battle them. And they're also someone who will give you their phone number as well, for some reason. Or, yeah. It's got Nidoran, female. I believe Nidorans have poison point, if I'm not mistaken. So I do... It's either poison point or rivalry. We are able to catch Nidorans at the moment. However, later on down the line, we will be. Come on, Zubat, stop missing. Let's see. Okay. Alright. Astonish, then. Wiggle hit, nice. Okay. Go for the Astonish. Go for another Astonish. Let's go for Roost to uh, use that, because we haven't used that yet. Or actually, no, have we? I might have. Might have used that at some point, I don't know. We might use it earlier this episode, I can't remember. Supersonic! Thank god you... Oh, I finally hit. Supersonic is a terrible move. It really is. Like, it's okay for early on, but like, there's a better... Confusion move that Zubat learns later on, which won't be for a while. So we're kind of stuck with Supersonic. Let's astonish again. And we are we almost. Oh, we've, oh, we've flinched it though. That's good. Nice. Nice and nice and nice. Gained 100 experience points for us. Pretty good. Before I could get serious, I, it, it went on a, on its own, apparently, for some reason, I don't know why. Oh? You're on a big journey to see the sights? Neat! Let's be friends, can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Sure. Sure. I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. Cool. Okay. Now, we have two ways to go. We can either go this route or we can go down here. Here, there's a lot of water and there's a lot of fishermen on this route. However, on the top one, uh, the top one is the one where it has all the items and has all the good stuff, I guess, to it. But the bottom one is the quicker route, so I'm just going to do this one real quick. And uh, there's a lot of fishermen. There's about three here. In fact, I'm... I mean, they have, they'll probably have something. I'm gonna swap my Reap to the front. They're gonna be using water types, so. That'll be. Uh, something. So, yeah. Fisherman Henry. Send out a polywag, okay. And we're already hit with hypnosis. Polywag's a pretty fast Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm not surprised it outsped us, but you know. It is what it is. Water Sport. It's fine. You bubble, okay. Come on. Wake up. Wake up, Marip. Come on. Yes, thank you. I actually forgot to check something real quick. I'm curious as to what this... Well, what the stats are like on all my... Um, Zuba and... Uh, Murray. I haven't really checked that, so I'm going to check that now, in fact. If I go to Pokemon, I go to Marie here. 
Uh, okay, never mind. I can't do that here. I thought I could do something, but never mind. Thundershock. Okay. Firepower weaken, that's fine. I'm not gonna use a fire type against a water type, but I'd be stupid. I'm going to level 12, which is good. Benjamin Henry. Splash? Okay, now I'm going to check what the stats are like on my team. So, Marie has a quick... wait, quiet, okay. I thought Sid, Phil, and Marie had the same stats, which is fine if they did. In fact, I actually prefer over... Oh. Over Cyndaquils, I think, so if I'm remembering correctly. Also likes to relax. I'm pretty sure it has H if that's the case, I think that's HP. If I'm not mistaken. Uh quirky, uh hang on, I need to check. I need to check this because this is a very important thing, so I'll be right back with this. Okay, I'm back, and after looking up uh, what the quirky nature is and the, you know, characteristic meant, it means that Mareep here has a a neutral, um, well, has no stat changes, so it's a neutral uh, nature, which is pretty decent, and I quite like that, and it also has extra HP, so that's pretty good. Uh, Zubat, however, has a plus speed and minus defense nature, which honestly I am uh, really happy about, because that is pretty good. It also has a plus in its special attack for some reason. I think that's what it was. Uh, let me just check mischievous, mischievous. Yeah, special attack. So, I mean, it has something to do with its special attack, I'm pretty sure, so. Which is pretty decent, you know, I'm not mad at that. I would have preferred something with attack, but you know, it's fine. Um, but yeah, I like, I like that. You know, quirky is not bad on Emery, and you know, extra HP doesn't hurt, so that's pretty decent. I probably should have checked this out a long time ago. <laughs> Anyways, I will deal with the other trainers on this uh, bridge, and I'll be right back. Because most of them, I'm pretty sure, have magic cops and uh, other stuff. And I dealt with the fishermen on this route. We also got a phone number off of one of them. Uh, I want to turn off my running shoes real quick, because I don't know. Okay. There we go. Pass that guy. And then, turn him back on. Now we made it to this Pokemon Center here, and I'm going to heal up real quick, because I'm pretty sure Zubat is out of, uh, uh, PP for most of his moves, apart from Roost. Which, you know, isn't good, so we're gonna have to do that real quick. So, yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the rest of the uh, uh, area to figure out, like, to find out where everything is, or like, if there's anything I need to grab real quick. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Over here, next to the stairs go leading down, uh, ne near the Pokemon Center, you can grab TM09 Bullet Seed. This is a, a, a decent-ish early game move, I've used it before in the past, and yeah, it was alright. But I didn't ever use it again, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm back at the Pokemon Center. Um, the only other item we got from that area that we need to grab was a uh, was a great ball, which was not far from the TM that we got near the steps. It's like to the right a bit, like just up and to the right of the steps. Anyways, uh, if you're in the Pokemon Center, talk to this guy and he will give you... This area is great for fishing. Looking at all, the, uh, all those people fishing, did you feel like you wanted to try fishing too? I read that completely wrong. Would you like one of my... Keep away from me. <laughs> Would you like one of my rods? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'll take one. The old rod! Now, we are able to catch a few Pokemon with the old rod. And 
there is a lot to go back on as well. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. Let's go over the new Pokemon we go uh, we can catch with the old rod, shall we? First of the new Pokemon you can catch with the old rod is Magikarp. Magikarp on the surface is a pretty poor Pokemon. However, when you get it to level 20 and go through the grueling challenge of getting it there through switch training, you can get the almighty Gyarados. However, I would recommend skipping on Magikarp and Gyarados if I'm being honest. You'll understand why, and for those of you who have played Johto before or played for the games, you'll understand why I'm saying for you to skip on it now. There's a time later on where you'll be able to catch uh, a Gyarados. I think it's more worth the wait, if I'm being honest. Uh, even though, yes, there are you, know, you need water types at some point uh, before getting to it, I think uh, the wait would be worth it to have. Other than that, Magikarp on its own is just not great. You do find most of them are quite low level as well, so its I don't think it's worth the grind and the grueling challenge of raising a Magikarp all the way up to level you know 20 just to get a Gyarados. The more rarer spawn compared to Magikarp is Tentacool. Tentacool is a Pokemon I can recommend quite a bit, however... You will be having a tentacle for a long time, as it does evolve quite late into tentacle at level 30. However, its typing in itself is a brilliant typing. Water Poison is quite bulky as well, and its special defense is insanely good. Its ability of clear body prevents any ability reduction, which is kind of, uh, it's kind of bland and kind of useless, considering the fact that it, if that's its ability... It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't help it much at all. The better move I would have for it is Liquid Ooze, which if you're getting hit with a move like Mega Drain or Giga Drain or Absorb or something like that, instead of getting healed, the Pokemon that will use that move will get damaged itself because of the poison uh, due to its poison typing, I mean. So, I would prefer Liquid Ooze over Clear Body. However, Clear Body is not a terrible ability, it's just, it's not great. In my opinion. And if you go all the way back to Route 30, uh, just above Cherry Grove City, and that little kind of lake above the uh, Pokemon or Pokemon Center, you can find Krabby. Krabby is a Pokemon that I personally do not like. I'm not saying it's a bad Pokemon, but I think it could have been a lot better. In this generation, at least, it does learn some pretty poor moves, and considering it's pure water type, it doesn't really get a whole lot going for it. Sure, it learns Crab Hammer, but that doesn't get learned until, like, the level 40s or 50s. And then, even then, the other moves it gets are decent at best, but don't have the extra type, uh, you know, the type, uh, thing where you like use a move with the same type as your Pokemon to get uh, extra bonus damage. I can't remember what that's called, but it does learn the move Guillotine though, and that is a one hit KO move, which is really bad if you KO one hit KO moves are pretty m hit or miss, mostly a miss. Um, but I would definitely just say uh, pass on Krabby because there are many better water types out there that learn better moves that just have. A better, you know, type. And then last but certainly not least, you can find Poliwag as well on Route 30. Poliwag I can recommend, but it depends on what Pokemon you want to use. Once Poliwrath and Politoed are pretty good Pokemon at their own respective rights, and its ability of Damp and Water Absorb are pretty decent as well, though I would definitely recommend Damp over Water Absorb in my opinion, having the ability to nullify all explosion moves which are pretty much you know the most powerful moves of the game that aren't you know giga impact hyper beam or the one it kill moves or anything like that it it can be very helpful uh, another thing about polywag is that the way to get uh polyrath or polytoad are not easy to get because you know stone evolutions like i mentioned are not too easy to come across or at least the stones aren't easy to come across Essentially what I mean is that you need to either use, you need to either call up someone who will say, hey, I found this item, and then they'll give you the item you want. You may need to look into what uh, what 
trying to give us what items. There's also one thing that's coming up later on that will also allow you to buy and purchase uh, a stone, depending on what day it is, so... Polymag's still good, it just... It's a little bit tricky to get to its final evolution, but if you can get past that, I think it's a good Pokemon. Its speed is also incredible, so that's one extra plus for it. I think I'm going to end it off there. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, we'll be going through Union Cave, which is the cave that splits this route from Azalea Town. I don't know if anyone knew that, but... Well, of course, people know that, I know, but, like, obviously, for those of you who are not aware, I mean. Okay, that's, that's what I'm trying to get at. See you guys then.